Come in. John's the name and law's the game. Let's talk. And please give me a job. Come in. Hi, Bob Jenkins. John Smith, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Thanks. So, is this your first interview? Yeah, I'm a virgin. Wanted to flower me? <laughs> is this your first interview? I don't know. First interview? <laughs> No. No, actually, I interviewed with a couple firms this morning. Good, so you're no pro. Which firms did you see? Heckle and Jekyll and Flanders, Simpson and Moe. Oh, those are great firms. <laughs> yes, well, I liked Heckle a lot, but God, the lady at Flanders was very unpleasant. Hmm. Actually, my wife is the interviewer at Flanders. <laughs> those are great firms. Actually, my wife is the interviewer at Flanders. That's your wife? You're a lucky man. She's hot. <laughs> That's your wife? She was really nice. I really enjoyed talking with her. Good, good. Well, <clears throat> let's begin. I see here you're from Philadelphia. Yes, I spent my entire childhood in Philadelphia. And how did you like Harvard? I really liked it a lot. I mean, I thought the people would be all stuck up and into themselves, and they really weren't. I thought the people would be really superficial, and they really weren't. I found the classes to be very challenging and thought-provoking. Great, great, great. I see you're a government major. Any thoughts on the Medicare debate? Well, okay. Uh, I'm a Democrat, and... I'm a Republican, and... I'm independent, and... I tend to be financially conservative and somewhat liberal socially, and... I think the Medicare debate is indicative of how we, as a nation, must learn to balance these competing objectives when formulating national policy. Very insightful. Very insightful. <laughs> so, what brought you to law school? The one nine from 42nd Street. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me that question, Bob. You see, ever since I was a child, I've had this burning desire to champion the rights of the downtrodden, to fight the establishment. You see, my friend, I am a revolutionary. <laughs> Actually, my interest in law school developed out of my background in political science. Hmm. So uh, why not Georgetown, you know, B and DC? <laughs> because uh, my answer to your last question was total bullshit. <laughs> I thought so. because uh, Georgetown sucks. <laughs> what, did you go to Georgetown? Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to spend some time in New York before, if I so choose, I go down to DC. Fair enough. And how have you found law school? Oh, it was never hard to find. I just kept looking for the ugliest building on campus. <laughs> <Not of me. laughs> it's not so bad. I mean, it's about what I expected it to be, you know. I don't really mind it much. <laughs> <laughs> I've really enjoyed it. I like my classes, the professors are top-notch, and the people are great. That's great. That's great. I really enjoyed law school, too. Have you developed an interest within the law yet? Well, I'm still trying to decide between corporate and litigation. Um, <laughs> hoping to get a good feel for each before I decide. Well, that's one of the great things about our firm. You'll get a chance to see a lot of different types of work. We make a point of that. Great. Oh, I'm interested in what attracted you to Deloise out of all the other New York firms. <laughs> it sucks. Um, I'm only looking at smaller firms. Uh, I just couldn't work at one of those huge firms. <laughs> hmm. You are aware that we have over 500 lawyers in our New York office. <laughs> well, um, I mean smaller relative to some of the larger New York firms. Actually, Flanders is the only firm bigger than ours. Well, relative to Flanders, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in what attracted you to Deloise. Well, uh, I notice you guys don't work as much as other firms do. <laughs> I can't work long hours. <laughs> Actually, a good friend of mine, George Stevens, he worked with your firm last summer, and he oh. said he really enjoyed his time. Yes, I know George. He was one of the stars of our summer program. Really? So you know George. Sure. Excellent. 
Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any questions that I can answer about the film? Well, probably not, but you can sure as hell try. <laughs> Yes, uh, detail explicitly the firm's policy on insider trading. <laughs> Everyone plays around a little, right? <laughs> One question. How much money? <laughs> yes, uh, how much hands-on experience can I expect to get as a summer associate? <clears throat> Good question. <clears throat> That's one of the things we really pride ourselves on at Louise. We don't give our summer associates busy work. We design our program to give you an idea of what working there will really be like. For instance, last summer, George, he worked on an M&A deal with me his very first week, and blah, 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 blah. How's that sound? Um... No? <laughs> oh my god, I just totally spaced on what you just said. <laughs> great. That sounds great. Good. Good. So, uh, any other questions? Well, I, um, I didn't want to talk about my grades. Oh, yeah, I did want to speak to you about that. First year can be kind of rough, can it? Well, you know what they say, I mean, what do you call the student with the lowest passing grade on the bar exam? I don't know, we've never hired one before. <laughs> Well, you know what they say. What do you call the student with the lowest passing grade on the bar exam? I can tell you what we don't call them. What's that? Back. <laughs> it was a rough adjustment for me, but uh, I'm confident that my grades are not reflective of my true ability. I'm sure you're right. Just so you know, our firm doesn't have any strict grade cutoffs or anything like that. Good, thank you. Any other questions? Not at the moment. Well, if you do have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks. You can expect to hear from us in about two weeks, and uh, thanks for interviewing with us. Pleasure talking to you. You too, thanks. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My leg fell asleep. <laughs>